Once again, they brought in their heaviest weapons. Parts of CERT are still putting up stubborn resistance. Today, fighters on the government side stood back and waited for the artillery to do its work. They aimed their shells and rockets at a conference center and university complex, which is being heavily defended. They can't take the town before they clear this area of Gaddafi loyalists. Well, this is one of the front lines today, and it's some way back from the center of CERT. The government forces have not been able to take the town. They're being held back by very stiff resistance from entrenched pro-Gaddafi forces about a kilometer or two in that direction. They're firing rockets, they brought up tanks in the hope of softening that resistance before they decide to send their fighters forward once more. Some of their weaponry has a distinctly homegrown quality to it. All sorts of people want to play a part in this battle and they're willing to take their adapted family cars right up to the front line. For the remaining civilians in CERT, there are two options, stay and fight or flee. After days of living under constant bombardment, families are getting out when they can. Our houses, even our children are being blown up, said this man, who's still a loyal Gaddafi supporter. We were going out of our minds. Their bags were searched for any evidence they might be pro-Gaddafi combatants. It's a frightening experience for people so cut off, they're convinced they'll be killed, despite the best efforts to reassure them and make them feel a part of the new Libya. In other parts of CERT, the fighting was harder and closer. Here, in the center of town, it's come down to a battle for streets and buildings.